boys, we got a big one here. That's a top dog size skipjack right there, fellas. Well, boys, I tell you, I'm into the big ones. That's them real big ones. Hey guys, Kevin here with Kevin Fishes. We are trying to catch a few skipjack this afternoon down here at the dam. I've been here uh, 20 minutes or so. I have caught three so far, but they are the tiniest of tiny. I'm talking little three inch long skipjack. I am on, if you're familiar with it here at Kentucky Dam, I'm between the dam and the uh, concrete circle out here. Now, the last few times I've been catching them, they've been on the down the hill, or down the stream side of that circle. There's some guys down there now, so I can't get to that spot. I'm gonna go down past them and see if anything is hitting down that way, because up here it's just, it's slow and it's a little bitty. We'll be back with you here in a little bit. He's not a skipjack, but this little thread fin shed just got hooked on there. And with these uh, glasses, I can see there are thousands upon thousands of these little thread fin shad all up in here along the bank. If you got a net small enough to catch them, you probably take 20 of them to make a, a bait, but there's all kinds of little thread, thread fin in here. Another doggone Asian car. Oh, come on. No, he didn't. He's still on there. This one's fighting a little bit. Come on, baby. Whatever. I say Asian cart. It could be something else. It's not pulling like an Asian cart. Maybe I got me a big old stripe on here. Come on in here. I want to see you. Oh, nope, nope, he just got off. Yeah, go. I don't know if you boys could hear that. He took off running, pulled a bunch of drag, and then got off. Probably Asian cart, but I'm going to say it was about a 10 pound strike just for the fun of it. Alright guys, that's it for Kentucky today. I'm hot. Dang biting flies are getting to me. Uh, I'm not in the prime spot. I'd like to be after them. There are two other guys down there, but I can tell you I've been watching them and they aren't doing any better than I am. Catching uh, one of these little three or four inch uh, skipjack every now and then. It is uh, slim pickings. Now it is hot. It's five o'clock. If we give it another couple hours, get down here right at dark, might do a little bit better but i can't stay that long so i'm gonna head out i'm gonna try and stop by over at barkley if i got time uh, let's see if there's anything happening over there i appreciate y'all taking the time to watch the video uh, if you enjoyed it man hit that uh, subscribe button for me and that thumbs up i appreciate it guys
bust my butt on this raggedy riprap. Another little bitty small one, boys. Over here at Barkley. The story continues. Another little bitty one. Oh, there's a fish. There's a fish. Biggest one of the day. Biggest one of the day isn't saying much. But there he is, he's about five inches. There's a twofer. Twofer on the itty bitty ones. Well, I'd say the signs are good for next year, but not so good for right now. Well, I say next year, as well as those are. It'll be a couple of years on them, probably. Well, fellas, these little ones are moved in here thick right now. I say that because I can see them. These are polarized glasses. If I can get him unhooked. These are polarized glasses, and I can see the, the silver darting around down in there just off the bank. I mean, they are three feet off the bank. A little bit better one. There we go. That's a little bit better. Ow. Well, boys, that's a mess. If you can see that, that's not how it's supposed to happen. So, with that, I'm gonna call it a day. I'm gonna go up here to the truck and get to needle on those pliers and see how much skin I yank out when I pull that out.